Today I'm sharing five hacks to declutter your home so that you can reduce stress and enjoy the space you live in. No matter where you are on your decluttering journey, these hacks will help you create the home that you finally love. But before we get into the video, I'm so excited to announce that this is part of the collaboration for this year's Get Organized HQ virtual conference. It is a completely free online conference that's aimed to help you live a more organized and stress-free life. You can sign up for completely free using the link down below in the description. This conference runs from September 12th through the 16th, so you have plenty of time until then. If you check out the All Access Pass, you're going to have a lifetime access to this virtual conference, which will air over 100 plus sessions that you can keep forever. So make sure you check out the description link down below. The first hack to know is that you have to remember to go at your own pace. It is your own decluttering journey, so don't compare yourself to others. It's so easy to compare yourself to other people you see on social media. You might see someone that has way less things and that their home is more tidy and organized. But just remember that everyone has their own journey and if they got there quicker, you don't need to compare yourself to that. For some people, letting go is easier than for others. Some people have more sentimental items or things that they've held onto for 10 and 20 years or more. So it's going to be more difficult for a person that has that kind of stuff to let go and downsize than it is for someone who's not very attached to things. It might take some person to declutter their stuff in one year and for you it might take five years or more. So remember that you're going at your own pace, it's your own journey. It's not going to be easy there's going to be ups and downs and just remember that and just try not to compare yourself to other people who have already decluttered their homes the next hack is to have a goal in mind ask yourself what do i want my home to look like when it's decluttered visualizing your space as a decluttered home is going to help you achieve your goal faster Visualizing your space and how that's going to look like when you've got rid of all the clutter is going to help you in this decluttering journey. Creating some guidelines, maybe even some boundaries are going to help you reach your goal of a clutter-free home. Some examples of something that can help you reach your goal is to do a no-buy challenge for several weeks, maybe months. That way you're not letting stuff come into your home and more stuff is going out. Another one of my favorites is something that I've talked about many times before and you've probably heard of by now is the one in and one out policy. So whenever you bring something into your home, you have to let one thing out. And by doing that, you're going to reduce all that inventory that's coming into your home. If you must, maybe print out some pictures of some homes that you found on Pinterest or just on Google, print them out, stick them on your fridge or wherever you look out very often so that you're constantly inspired to get your home to look that way and maybe it's not going to be a hundred percent like that photo but it's definitely something that you're aiming towards and visualizing it, seeing it every day will help you remind you that you want to get there one day. Ask yourself important questions. Ask yourself if this item is enhancing your life instead of things like, does this spark joy or do I love it? I like this question because it's more specific. You are asking yourself if it's enhancing your life, if it's providing value to your life, or is it just sitting there not being used, collecting dust? If it's actively important to you in this present moment, then of course you can keep it, but if it's something that you are not using, it doesn't enhance your life in any way, then consider tossing it out, decluttering it, maybe donating it to a friend or someone that you know who might actually get use out of it and will enhance their lives. The next question to ask is, do I use it? If so, when was the last time I used it? If you just ask yourself, do I use it? It's going to be easy to just default and be like, oh yeah, I use that but do you really and when was the last time that you did so be very honest with yourself when you're asking yourself these questions if you can't recall the last time you used something then chances are you don't use it as often as you thought so if it's been something like six months 12 months or more 
then consider letting it go. The next tip is to make it a habit. Over time, the things that we love at some point might change. We are always growing and evolving, so something that I love using right now and brings value to my life right now probably won't in five or ten years. So you want to make it a habit to constantly be thinking about if these things add value to your life or not. Try to incorporate that mindset into your life every day. It's definitely not easy to do this at first. It takes some time and practice. One thing that I can suggest is to have a box or a bag laying around so that whenever you do come across something that you no longer need, then you can easily toss it into that bag or box. As the time goes by, it's going to be a lot easier to let things go and it'll just be like second nature to you and you won't really have to think about it. At least that's in my experience now after decluttering for over four or five years. Not only are you being intentional with the clutter that's going outside of your home, but also you need to be intentional about what's coming into your home. If you don't stop or slow down the inflow of things coming into your home, then you're going to catch yourself in this constant decluttering cycle. I kind of briefly touched upon this earlier in one of my points, but something that you can do is a no buy challenge or some people like to call it a spending freeze. You can set however much time you think you need to do this, so maybe it's for a week, months, or even longer. You can also try a low buy challenge so you can still buy stuff but you are trying to just stick to a certain budget or a certain number every single month so that you're not overspending. Before you make any kind of purchase, consider taking a pause. So this could be 24 hours, 30 days, it kind of depends on what the purchase is. So for example, something that costs hundreds or more you might want to wait about 30 days before you pull the trigger on that item for something that's under a hundred dollars or less than that maybe wait 24 hours sometimes we think that it's something that we want and need but after taking some time and kind of just pause and reflect on the item we sometimes realize that it's not something that we actually need to buy. So those are my five easy hacks to declutter your home. I hope you guys found these very helpful. I can guarantee you that you'll have a more stress-free life and be able to create a more peaceful environment to live in. Don't forget to check out the link down below to check out the free virtual conference where you will learn tons of information about how to get your home organized and have a stress-free life. Be sure to check out the description link down below so that you can sign up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.